Hello, this is Todd Vieira, Director of Customer Engagements at Brainchip. You just saw all the functionality of the ADK1000 SOC, currently in production at TSMC 28 nanometer. And today we will be reviewing Brainchip's Akita MPU and how we're solving problems at the edge others aren't. So the first demonstration we're gonna do is a visual wake word on MobileNet 0.25. It's a person detection model using 210,000 parameters, 14 MBUs, and 178 kilobytes of SRAM. The floating point accuracy is 90.7, but with Akita using four bit weights and activations, it's 89.7 at 10 frames per second with only 100 milliseconds of latency and the total power of 1.5 milliwatts. So the problems that we're solving as I start the demo, you'll see an uh, individual walking across the screen and where the individual is a small piece of the frame still being able to pick up that someone is there. And this is key for something like a display or a camera that you want to have AI at the edge next to the sensor and being able to pick up an actual person and not the vehicles or not you know a cat or any of that. So we're using this parking lot demo to show how a person that is a small portion of the frame is able to walk across and we're still picking up that person with our neural network. The next demonstration we're gonna show you is an industrial IoT of a fruit classification and detection. Uh, we're using a mobile net V1 and you know, a couple of things to look at here. Uh, there's a mobile net V2 version that we actually did as well. And you can see how the accuracy is in the high 90s, 96.9 versus uh, 97.1. But the key thing here is we're able to do this with a smaller number of parameters four bit weights and activations and still get just as good as accuracy, if not better. And the key thing is, is we are only using 24.1 milliwatts of power. And if you actually need a little faster frames per second, you can speed it up and uh, get a little bit higher power. But uh, we're still, you know, extremely low power for these edge devices next to the sensor. So as I start the demo, We've actually uh, learned on the edge these fruits, and we're adding a new fruit at the end due to time constraints, but we've just added the previous ones that you'll see on inference here at the edge. So as we inference our fresh banana, we just labeled a uh, rotten banana, and we'll go through a bunch of different fruits. There's a fresh orange. And as you can see on the left-hand side, we've extracted all these values offline in features. And with on-chip learning from BrainChip, you're able to leave some open classes so that I can label new classes at the edge without having to be retrained in the cloud, saving time, effort, and efficiency. Rotten apple. There's a fresh apple. And the key thing here is, is we aren't losing any accuracy. We're still using the same extracted values from our previous data set. So the accuracy is the same as the original fresh banana. There you go. And finally, we're going to do a face identification and classification at the edge. And as we did it with the previous one, uh, we did a mobile face net with um, 450K image and four bit weights and activations. Um, we did 10 classes that enabled with on chip learning that we can learn at the edge. Uh, accuracy is 88.61. We use 12 nodes and 50 MPUs and 916 kilobytes of memory and a total power of 19.1 milliwatts. So, as you see this demonstration, we are actually uh, labeling in additional people at the edge. So you can see we're adding this person in at the edge. This is Aaron, gets labeled with one shot. Similar is we're doing this with Anil. He's our direct um, vice president of product development and founder of the company, one shot. So this is nice where you can do some device personalization at the edge. So if you have a display, uh, let's say a TV 
or maybe a doorbell, and you want to add uh, specific uh, classifications at the edge without having to retrain. And this is really good for privacy because I'm not uploading this data to the cloud. It's actually stayed local on the device. So as Rob comes back, he's trying to pull the camera left and right, still sees him with one shot. Uh, similar to the fruit demo is we've actually extracted all the features with this mobile net face net uh, data set and trained the uh, network offline. And these classes that from the original data set that were, we actually uh, blocked out and we're only adding new classes, they are similar uh, classes to the data set. So the accuracy is the same as you would have got from the original data set. So Akita's MPU and ultra low power solutions, some of the benefits we take advantage of are ultra low power for SOC, or if you're building your own chips, we license it as IP. We handle various issues current solutions don't, such as uh, lower portions of the subject in frame for uh, cameras or other solutions, as well as one-shot learning. Uh, there's no need to retrain in the cloud for a few new classifications or if you want to personalize each one of your local devices. These edge devices next to the sensor have very stringent requirements, such as power and latency. And these are just a few of many examples supported by Brainchip's Akita MPU. Tell us what your design is all about. Thank you. Learn more about Brainchip at www.brainchip.com. You can email us at sales at brainchip.com, or you can stay after this session for the Q&A. Thank you. Have a great day.